Hello, welcome to Classworks. There have been several changes in the way a student's level of mathematical proficiency is assessed. In addition to having higher cut scores and addressing the new state standards, success on the new rigorous high stakes test requires a new way of teaching and a decided shift in classroom practices. To help you effectively prepare students for the depth of knowledge and mathematical explanations associated with your new state test, Classworks has designed the new Applied Mathematics program for grades K through 8. Applied Mathematics activities help the teacher present their grade level standards at differentiated levels with a progressing, meeting, and expanding problem. Each activity also includes a critique and precision problem to ensure the mathematical practice standards are inherent in every classroom every day. Let's take a look at some sample problems. Here we have a sample fourth grade ACT Aspire math problem. We know that it has a depth of knowledge level of 2, it assesses the student's ability to add fractions with unlike denominators, and it requires multiple steps to solve. This is a sample fourth grade math problem for the Georgia Milestones assessment. We know that it also requires multiple steps in order to solve. The student must write the equation, there's an unknown component in the equation, and there's more complexity in the context that is given since there are two entities. Let's take a look at the types of problems that are available in Classworks Applied Mathematics. Each Classworks Applied Mathematics activity contains four problems. The first of the Classworks differentiated problems is progressing. This level is most appropriate for students who are working towards establishing a foundational understanding of the concept. Similar to the high stakes test examples, this problem is leveled by depth of knowledge. Students are asked to evaluate equivalent fractions using the denominators within base 10. And the question provides context for the problem, involving monetary values, making real world connections. In looking at the progressing problem in relation to the ACT Aspire item, we can see that this problem has a lower DOK level. This problem addresses the foundational concept of equivalent fractions, setting students up with skills needed in order to be successful on the sample high stakes test item. The next level of differentiated problem is meeting. This level is most appropriate for students who have a foundational understanding of the concept and are working towards conceptualizing this understanding. In this example, we can see that the problem has a depth of knowledge level of two. It scaffolds the skill of equivalent fraction conversions by using the same 7 tenths fraction as the progressing problem. There are multiple steps required to solve. It involves two fractional entities instead of just one. And it scaffolds the skill of computing equivalent fractions and adding fractions. We can see that this problem has the same depth of knowledge level as the sample ACT Aspire test item. Like the high stakes test item, this question requires students to convert fractions in order to produce equivalent fractional entities before combining and writing an addition statement. This question also works with familiar values in base 10, just like the high stakes test question. The last level of differentiated problems is expanding. This level is most appropriate for students who have a conceptual understanding and are working towards making connections between the content and constructing sound mathematical explanations. Just like in the high stakes test examples, we can see that this problem is leveled by depth of knowledge, there are multiple steps required to solve. The expanding problem is written at a higher DOK level than that of the ACT Aspire item. This problem requires students to have a more conceptual understanding and be able to communicate their reasoning, both of which will ensure that students are successful at problems when taking a high stakes test. The fourth type of problem is a critique and precision problem called investigative work. Students are given a problem and two sample responses that they will evaluate to decide which response correctly answers the question. Students are then asked to provide mathematical evidence to support their answer or to critique the incorrect response. We can see that this problem has a depth of knowledge level of three, involves four entities, two of which are not given in fractional terms, and it scaffolds the skill of writing monetary values as fractions by giving the latter two values in fractional terms. As we just saw, there are several similarities between the new test problems and the classworks problems. All problems are leveled by depth of knowledge. They may require several steps to solve based on difficulty. And lastly, the problems build on existing knowledge while allowing the students to work on the new skill. 
ACT Aspire requires students to craft a written response to support their answers. Classwork supports this skill throughout the applied mathematics activities by allowing students to visually explain their mathematical reasoning. Classworks also provides differentiated levels of problems to help scaffold understanding and communication skills, supporting students as they build towards mastery of the standards. As you can see, these samples paint the clear picture that Classworks math instruction supports teachers in their classrooms as they prepare students for the increased rigor of the new state test. 